Two great new enhancements have been added to AutoMap for Microsoft CAD 2013. The first one is what we call leading wildcards, and the second one is substitution codes. So we're looking at FieldGenius 2012. This is our data collection package, and these uh, two features I'm going to discuss uh, apply to other data collection packages you might be using, so you don't have to be using FieldGenius. So let's turn on the descriptions for this survey and let's zoom in to the top and look at a few things. So point number two here you'll see it was coded with a description of Northwest IP found and point 33 here was coded as IP found bent. If we scroll down point 35 here was coded as a tree. The type of tree is an oak. Its height is 9 and its trunk diameter is 12. Another one was coded here for point 34 but it's an elm tree with a height of 6 and a diameter of 8. Point 17 was coded as IP found and here for point number 1 it was coded as simply IP. So let's exit out of Field Genius and let's import this into Microsoft CAD. So whenever you either import an ASCII file, import a data collector file, manually store points in our database, either by manually inputting them or COGO, uh, all points are always processed in real time through our AutoMap system. And so as you can see here, some of the line work has been colored and layered for us automatically, and that's all done by AutoMap. And if we look at the same points that we had looked at in Field Genius for point number two, you'll see a symbol has been placed here for number two. Same thing with point number three or 33. If we look at point 35, now this is interesting. You'll see that this is not what was coded in the field. There's a lot more information that's been plotted in the drawing automatically for us. Same thing for the elm tree. You'll see the height was six feet, diameter eight inches. And again, for the two IPs down at the bottom of the lot, you'll see there's a symbol been placed on them. So the beauty with AutoMap is you can use leading wildcards. So for those four points for the the, uh, the IPs that were found, there's only one entry in our AutoMap. And if we look at that, you'll see there's a code here called IP, and it's got an asterisk before and after it. So what AutoMap will do is it pre-processes a description, and if it finds the word IP in it, it applies the parameters for this auto map code. So for IP, it's going to place this symbol, and that's why those four corners had uh, different uh, coded descriptions in the field, but yet AutoMap was able to process them the same because of this wildcard system that we have built in. Now if we look at the elm tree here, and just to remind you if I click on it and we look at our point editing, the code that was input in the field here, that's what it looked like. It was it was actually the tree code with three parameters. So the first parameter was elm, second parameter was six, and the third parameter was eight. And you can have uh, multiple parameters after here. And so if we look at the automap entry for that, you'll see there's a code here called tree. So you'll see our system for the plotted description, you can put in some advanced options here. So basically what our AutoMap is doing is anything after the tree code, if there's a dollar sign here, that means consider it to be the first parameter and input that value here. And then here we just typed in, you know, the code tree, and then we got the height, and we, we put in here, put in the second parameter for the trunk, put in the third parameter, etc and place this symbol on it. And so that's why, I don't want to edit that. So that's why for this example here, for point 35 and point 34, it was able to put oak tree, elm tree, with the height and the diameter. And as you can see, it's very easy to set that up in our AutoMap system. And if you take the time to set up an AutoMap library, in Microsoft CAD, you can save yourselves 
uh, literally hours of drafting time when you import data collector files. So we hope you like these two new features for 2013.